I found 13 automated side hustles that you can actually make money from. And many of these you can make over $550 a day. Nice. And the first one is going to be writing on Medium. And writing on Medium actually works a lot like creating YouTube videos. You basically just write your articles, you post them on Medium, and then if they get a bunch of views, you get to share the AdSense revenue with the platform. And there are a ton of different people who have posted about how they make money doing this. For instance, this guy made a video about how he makes $1,000 a month doing this. But you can make much, much more than that. And generally speaking, medium writers make about 15 to $30 per 1000 views. And that's actually higher than what you make on YouTube. And it makes sense because writing blogs has been around for a long time and they've sort of figured out how to monetize them better. And another cool thing is you can use AI in order to help you write these articles. So this one is absolutely perfect for this video. Definitely one that's untapped in my opinion. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, gently tap that like button if you appreciate all of my hard work making these videos. And let's jump into it with number two on the list, which is going to be a Twitter copywriter or a Twitter ghostwriter. So this is basically where you write copy on Twitter. So copywriting is sort of sales using the written word. So you're writing things for the purpose of selling people something. And in many cases, you would actually be ghostwriting for an influencer or somebody who has a bigger account. And that basically means you're writing for them. And again, this is another one where you can heavily utilize tools like ChatGPT or Bard. Some other really good ones would be copy.ai or jasper.ai. And copywriters make about $59,000 to $91,000 a year. And if you specialize even further, you can make more than that. And that's exactly what you'd be doing in this situation. So yeah, this is another really good one. I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be becoming a YouTube content creator. So this is one where you would be making YouTube videos. And the great thing about YouTube is when you upload these YouTube videos, they're basically gonna be little soldiers that are working around the clock 24 seven to make you money for the next 10 to 20 years. And Google actually owns YouTube. And so YouTube has a ton of data from all around the internet, which gives them a huge advantage. And even small YouTubers can make a full-time income on YouTube. So yeah, there's no other social media platform out there that's as good as YouTube. YouTube is absolutely the best. And I like to always say this in these videos because I see all these channels that talk about different side hustles and they don't talk about the one that they're actually spending all their time doing, which is YouTube. And don't get me wrong, there's some other great side hustles, but YouTube, in my opinion, is without a doubt the best opportunity. Yes, it is. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a 10 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, I do coach a few people every month on how to grow and make money from YouTube. And if you think you're the right type of person that is really ready to dedicate yourself and you're committed to doing it, you can apply with the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. I also have some free training in the same link so you'll learn a lot about how YouTube works. So definitely worth checking out. Next is going to be selling on Theme Forest. And this is basically where you're gonna be selling different types of WordPress themes. And WordPress is one of the most common website builders on the market. And of course, you can use different types of AI in order to help you build out really nice themes. And the average theme creator on Theme Forest is making about $390 a month. And that's actually not bad. Most of these different types of websites, the average person doesn't make any money. So yeah, this one is pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, guys, I was able to earn a full-time income from YouTube and you can earn a full-time income from YouTube as well. And on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, I'm gonna be hosting a live training where I'm gonna be revealing the five biggest secrets on growing and monetizing your YouTube channel. And you can do this with less than one hour of work per day. So I'm basically gonna be giving you a free roadmap to growing your YouTube channel. And I'm gonna cover everything you need to know from choosing your niche to choosing video ideas. And and then the important parts of the process when it comes to making YouTube videos. And I'll take you through the steps and strategies that help me achieve a full-time income from YouTube within a few months. And during the live training, I'm actually gonna be giving away a free mini course that took me a ridiculous amount of time to make. And I'm gonna be answering any questions that you have about YouTube with a live Q&A. And there are limited seats, so make sure to sign up by clicking the link down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. 
and I'll see you there. Next is going to be selling AI prompts. So when it comes to AI, there's this concept called GIGO, which means garbage in, garbage out. And that basically means that if you have really bad inputs, you're gonna get really bad outputs. And so the only way to make your inputs and therefore your outputs better is to improve your prompts because the prompts are what you plug into the AI. And believe it or not, you can actually use AI to make better prompts. I know, it's mind blowing. And here on Fexel, there's a prompt creator that's made over 7,400 prompt sales. So they've made a ton of money. So yeah, this is a pretty good one, especially if you want to get into tech and kind of just like get really nerdy with it and learn all about AI. This can be really good. I'll go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you want to skip doing side hustles and just get a job in tech, I think one of the easiest jobs you can possibly get would be in tech sales. And the specific career that you would get into in tech sales, that's an entry level career, is going to be business development representative or BDR. And this is actually a career I've helped a ton of people get into on this channel. I have a bunch of different interviews of people that I've helped people get into this. And there's actually some free training on exactly how all of them were able to get into it, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. So definitely check that free training out if you wanna actually get a job in tech, because that's probably one of the easiest entry level jobs that you can get into. Next on the list is going to be blogging. And I think there's a specific type of blogging where there's a ton of opportunity right now. And that specific type of blogging is actually converting your blogs into multiple different languages. And you could do this with AI. So this is something that a friend of mine has actually been doing in some of the most competitive and most rewarding niches out there. And at first I thought he was a little crazy doing this, but he's been having some insanely good success. And all he does is he just takes existing blogs in English or he writes existing blogs in English, then he converts them into a bunch of different languages automatically using AI. And then he's able to make like 10 times more from every single blog that he writes. So yeah, this can be a really good opportunity. There's also just a lot of other AI related opportunities out there right now. And there's also lots of guides online about how people have automated like 90% of their content creation. So you can heavily utilize AI to help you with any type of blog writing. So yeah, this one's really good. I'll go ahead and give it an opportunity score of 8.5 out of 10. Next is going to be faceless YouTube channels or also known as automated YouTube channels. Now, I do have some problems with these, don't get me wrong, because one, YouTube is my favorite platform. I think it's the best platform that you can start entrepreneurship or just start making content on. But with that being said, there's a lot of these different like faceless YouTube automation offers out there, people are trying to teach it, and it doesn't work out for most people. And I still think creating a personal brand is gonna be your best bet. But with that being said, there are some ways and some types of content that you can create YouTube automation content on and it can be somewhat successful. And I'll give you a hint, some of the best niches to target are niches that have older people in them because generally speaking, older people have more money and so therefore the AdSense for older people is gonna be higher and with YouTube automation, you pretty much make all of your money from AdSense. So yeah, YouTube automation can be really good. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be ebook publishing. So I asked a guy who actually owns a a company that specializes in literally selling internet companies. So his name is Joe and he owns the company Empire Flippers. And he actually told me when I asked him, what do you think the best opportunity this year is? And basically like, if you were starting over, what would you do, right? If you had the knowledge that you have now. And he actually told me he'd probably get into Amazon Kindle publishing. And I was really shocked by this and I don't necessarily agree with him, but with that being said, he is a guy who buys and sells online businesses. So he probably knows his stuff. And and that's exactly what you'd be doing here. You would literally be using AI to help you write a bunch of books, help you put a bunch of information out there, and you'd probably be uploading it to Amazon KDP, which is Kindle Direct Publishing, and you can make a ton of money. For instance, Steve Scott makes 30 to $60,000 every single month doing this. And once you put the books up, it's completely passive. Now, it's very important to select the right niches and make sure that it's the type of content that you can automate well. Also, I do think a big opportunity in the future is going to be, you know, doing this, but doing it in a bunch of different languages. But yeah, this can be a really good opportunity. Um, honestly, after looking into it, after Joe kind of recommended it, I did see the appeal of it. I'm going to go ahead and give this one an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be stock photography and also stock videography. And as you can probably imagine, AI is getting incredibly good to the point where it actually can make videos. 
And people out there want to use these stock videos that look like they're real videos, but they have a person doing some specific thing that they want them to do. And if you're someone who's really good at prompting and really good at using AI, this can be an excellent opportunity for you. And here's a video from this guy who talks about how he made 170K selling stock photos. And on average, stock photographers make two cents per image per month. So you might think that's not very much, but realistically, if you upload like 10,000 different photos, that turns into a lot of money. So it does take some time to kind of get your portfolio uploaded, but once you've got it uploaded, you're gonna be good to go. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it a seven out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be selling Canva templates. So you've probably used Canva before. It's an incredibly useful online software and you can use it to make photos, videos, thumbnails, graduation cards, wedding cards, just like anything. Basically anything that you need to make that has to do with graphics or video stuff, you can make it using Canva. And guess what? Canva has a bunch of different free and paid templates. And guess what you can use in order to create those templates? AI. And here's somebody talking about how they made over $8,000 doing this. Now you can also sell these Canva templates on Etsy and the top selling Canva template shops are making 20 to 30 K per month. So yeah, this is one of those under the radar side hustles that you don't really hear about a lot. And sometimes that can be a good sign because it means it's not saturated. So I'll go ahead and give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be print on demand. And this is where you basically have somebody order some kind of design before you actually make it. So you might make some kind of design that you put on a t-shirt or maybe you put it on a mug and then when they order it, there's an automation that's sent out to the company to make it and ship it to them. So the great thing about this is you don't have to worry about inventory costs, storage costs or anything like that. You don't have to assume any risk. The only time you pay is when somebody else buys. And there's a story here about a 33 year old that makes 14,600 a month in passive income and he just works one hour a day on his online business. And he of course is doing print on demand. And the average monthly income for a print on demand business is actually $4,600. That is incredibly high for an average, guys. This is like the average person is still making $4,600. And like I said before, with a lot of these side hustles, the average person is making zero money. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be starting some kind of online store. So for instance, this could be like Etsy. So on Etsy, you can sell all kinds of different things from different types of templates, different types of planners. You can sell handmade jewelry. There's just like so many different things that you can sell. And Etsy makes it really easy for you because they do the majority of the work for you. All you have to do is just list your stuff and sell it. They take care of basically everything else. And I've met a ton of people that are making good money selling on Etsy. I do think it's a relatively untapped market and there's so many different things you can sell. Anything from physical products to digital products. So yeah, I really like this one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nine out of 10 opportunity score. All right. So the next one is relatively closely related, but it's more specific. And that is creating and selling printables. So printables are anything that you you could maybe like put up on your wall, for instance, so a painting on your wall or some type of poster. And as you can see, this is something you could obviously use AI for. So you could create a bunch of really cool looking printables using AI, list them up on a website like Etsy, or there's a bunch of other different types of websites out there where you can do this. And then when the person orders it, they'll actually print it out and they'll ship it out to the person. This is another really good way of making money. I'll go ahead and give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, I did post a video that went viral and it's called the 10 easiest AI side hustles. You can check that video out by clicking right here.